hello everyone happy new year actually today that i'm filming it's new year's eve but i have something that arrived so i really wanted to film this unboxing and i just finished getting ready for tonight's new year's eve party and as you can see i'm kind of getting my voice back i'm still a little bit sick but luckily i'm a lot better and so anyway if you are new to my channel my name's linda i do post weekly about fashion if you're into that sort of thing i would love it for you to subscribe let's be friends i promise not to disappoint for the new year i will make my channel so much better so let's get straight into today's video so today let me tell you what happened so earlier in the week i went to jimmy choo and there were so many things that I liked, but they didn't have my size. So they were like, we'll just ship it to you. So I got two shoes in the mail and then I got something in store. And then of course I had to pass by Fendi. This was at the outlet. So I had to stop by and see my sales associate, Jean-Fred. Hi, if you're watching. And so I picked up something there too. And I'm so excited because everything just kind of started trickling in. Honestly, I was surprised with how fast Jimmy Choo was. I literally received one of the boxes the very next day because they were sending things from um, New York, I think Orlando, from different, it was coming from different places and it was lightning fast. Like I ordered it like, I don't know, let's say Monday and like Tuesday I got one box and the other one just arrived. I went ahead and only opened the like outside box, but it will be a true unboxing. So let's dive right in. Um, I'm going to start with Fendi just because it's already ready so I got this Fendi package <clears throat> sorry so this is the item that I got in store and so exciting so this is something that I think I said in a, another video that he had texted me a few things that he got and when I was like yes I'll take it like five seconds later he was like oh it's sold and I was like what so anyway now that i was there in person i'm like by any chance did any come in and he was like yeah the big one so i'm so excited i did end up getting what i'd asked him for that time it comes in this dust bag i've been waiting to use it i i just wanted to film this so i could start going ahead and using it so this nice big fendi dust bag and it is this i just think this is so cute for like a decoration like i'm gonna put it like I don't know somewhere here in this vicinity and so it's just the typical Fendi everywhere and then it's got this like little lid and you open it up and you can just keep stuff in there like I don't know what I'm gonna put in there you know actually I'm gonna put all my twillies in there because I have tons of twillies from like Fendi, Louis Vuitton, other brands and I like don't really know where to put them so I kind of wrap them all over the place like wild and so I'm gonna start putting them in there. I think that's actually a really good thing to do. This that way it's not just decor. Now it wasn't I won't say it was um expensive, but it also wasn't that affordable in my opinion. But the reason why I liked it is because I know that I've seen ones from like Louie and stuff like that that are so much more. And I just feel like this is gonna be something I see and enjoy every day and honestly it wasn't that bad of a price I think it was like either 400 or 500 dollars which I know that sounds a little bit steep but if you think about it the ones from Louis that are just like this are a little bit more <clears throat> and so this one came in a few different sizes the one that I originally liked it goes up to like here and I didn't I didn't end up getting that one because this one was only a little bit more and it's just as cute and bigger so I was like I might as well get that one. He told me if I wanted the other one and I could have like the whole set but I just wasn't feeling that spendy in the moment so I was like let me just get one for now and then we'll take it from there so I love it. I can't wait to put that somewhere eventually. I'll just put it back in the dust bag for now. The next item I got from Fendi, sorry my hair's like everywhere. So this item, he showed me before and I don't know why I didn't fall in love with it. But then when I saw it in person, I was like, you know what? I think I'll go for it. It's kind of pricey. Comes in this dust bag. But if you guys know Fendi, then you know that for whatever reason, straps are expensive. Why? I don't know. I guess because they're so versatile because I'm the reason I got this is because I can wear it with every bag it is this strap so it's that Fendi Zuka monogram print all over it sorry that was my dog 
It is a nice long strap. What's happening here? Oh, there it is. So it's a nice long strap. So it's going to be a crossbody strap, but it also has this cool thing here. So like when you're wearing it, it kind of reminded me of like a horse. But I was like, it's also kind of cool, you know? Like, let me adjust myself here. So I feel like this is going to be so cute. And I was thinking, I can wear this with my red Fendi peekaboo. I think together, it's going to look so adorable. Like, the red with this, because he showed me to me... My English is not very good looking. <laughs> so he showed it to me with a red Fendi bag at the boutique. And I was like, wow, that's actually super cute. Like, I'm going to use it with pretty much all of my peekaboos like this one so like let's say I keep it in the defender this still matches let's say I take it out of the defender that's still adorable like look at the print next to it like this is gonna be so stinking cute like I'm so excited and like let's say I want to wear it with my black peekaboo which I always pretty much have handy also, I'm considering another peekaboo, guys. Another red one. I know. I'm crazy. So, I'm currently using this strap, which is my favorite, with my black peekaboo, which is in this foggy defender, which I don't know what to do about it at this point. But I was thinking this and this will also look so cute. Like, honestly, this might just be the purchase of the year. This still falls in the 2021 realm of purchases, although it's going to be used in 2022 for the first time. Let me just put that back. But yeah, so I'm so, so excited about this one. Like, I can't believe I didn't, like, pick it up that first time. But yeah, so at first my mom was like, what are you, like, do you actually like this? And I was like, I don't know. But then when I actually put it on, I was like, that's kind of cool. Like, it just feels like a little bit of a fashion statement. Not too out there because I get kind of shy. Like, in real life, I'm actually quite shy. And I don't want to be, like, making a statement as I walk around. So I feel like this is, like, right in my comfort zone where it's still a little bit out there, a little bit weird. But just right where I'll still feel comfortable wearing it. So super excited about this purchase. Those are the only two things I picked up at Fendi. And if you want to know the prices, I will read it to you. Um, so... The shoulder strap was $445, and then I got a discount, so it was $400, and then the like little travel travel fabric case thingy was um, $490, and then also discounted, it was $441, so if anyone is curious, like to be transparent about these things, um, again, not like super affordable, but not that horrible if you think about it also, and then... In person at Jimmy Choo, I got this little guy. This is the only thing that they had in store because it doesn't come in sizes. I just thought this was so cool. So it comes in this little dust bag. And you guys, I love Jimmy Choo. That was like one of my original luxury brands that I just really fell for. I feel like a lot of people don't use them as much, but most of my shoes are Jimmy Choo. Like more than anything. After that, I have of course like Valentino, Chanel, Louboutin, but Jimmy Choo's been kind of like my go-to brand for shoes. And also, they they make really good leather goods. I've always told you guys that. And that's what this is. This is from the men's collection. And it's a Jimmy Choo card holder. But I just love this one. My mom actually found it and was like, this is your style. And when I saw it, I was like, yeah, because when you turn it around, look at that. It has one, two, three, four, five card slots five card slots and you can put some money or receipt whatever in there and then a zipper compartment what like i was so excited when i saw this like is it like girly typical whatever no it's not but you guys know me i'm kind of like eclectic as hell so this to me was so cute and it also can attach to like i don't know what the heck i'm gonna attach it to but i figured i could attach it to something and this is just right up my alley because i feel like so many times I'm changing purses and stuff. I'm not like a big wallet girl. I'm always wearing those accordion card holders. Jimmy Choo, of course. And I feel like this is slim enough and also big enough. It'll fit more. And I feel like for those days I'm going to the supermarket and I don't even want to take a purse. I could just take this or I could just put this in different purses. I mean, this looks like it'll fit in pretty much every purse I have. Like maybe one or two that it might not. Like my Bulgari, which that thing hardly fits anything. Like... It's probably like one of the only... Yeah, yeah, actually it fits in there too. 
but yeah so i just thought this was super cute i was thinking of buying a few more um they told me they didn't have any more in store this was the last one but they were like if you really liked it uh we saw that in the new york boutique there were a lot and we can have them shipped to you but while i was waiting um i think the new york boutique hadn't responded yet about that so i just i haven't even gone through with buying more okay so now the part that i've been waiting for the jimmy choo so okay the first box so all i did was take off um so like i just cut it pretty much i didn't actually take anything out and immediately it's kind of like okay just plain just little jimmy choo box in there throw that away okay so here's the first item I'm not gonna open it yet because I just wanted to show you the difference the stark difference let me say I uh, went ahead and started opening the other box right and talk about a difference the New York boutique had all these like Jimmy Choo papers and then they have it packaged so much better like it's got like the little like gift wrap that says Jimmy Choo on it like a small thing but it just looks so much better the other one was kind of like underwhelming so this one uh just to show you better came like that like with this just the tissue all around it again not anything major but like you saw the difference in boxes so one was the new york boutique and one was the orlando boutique just saying again not a big deal but so cute okay so let's open this one first so this is the one that came from i guess orlando it's got the little dust bag i guess the little care booklet a lot of tissue paper and here we are i thought these were so cute i know they don't look like much but when i tried them on they just gave me these bottega vibes like they kind of have like that square front like not too dramatic or anything and i just thought these are good for every day i picked them up in a 37 and a half it feels like suede and they were so cute and they had such a good sale at Jimmy Choo that I was like, well, why not? So I went ahead and grabbed that. Then, <clears throat> let's open the other one with the pretty tissue paper. Okay. Again, a little dust bag and that. Why do they just one dust bag? I feel like both won't fit in there maybe oh okay yeah it does it looks a lot smaller and these i just fell in love with again they they give me bottega vibes but i'm just such a jimmy choo lover this is the shoe i thought it was so pretty i wanted these in black as well but they had nothing even close to my size in black so I ended up only getting them in the pink, but I really wanted them in both colors. And then they also had these with no heel, but also not anything in my size except for like gold. And I felt like it was just a little too gaudy for me, so I just didn't get those. I got these that have just a little tiny heel, and these are so cute. Again, got them in 37 and a half, and I'm so excited to wear these. They're just stunning. So that was my Jimmy Choo. And now I have one more thing to show you. Well, technically a few more things. Oh, there's a lot happening here. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, so next is something that came in the most beautiful package. Look at this Dior box. I mean, it's gorgeous, right? So this is actually from, and I swear Macy's just should just hire me already. I'm like your biggest shopper, Macy's. So this came from Macy's. And I've got a ton of things I bought inside. I've got the new, well, I don't think this is the newest actually, new to me, Miss Dior Rose and Roses, so I'm super excited. I haven't worn it yet. As you can see, it's still got all the uh, plastic on it and whatnot. Um, I ordered, let me just show you the part I'm the most excited about. In the same print, the Dior, the new palette, and it's so pretty. Before I get to it, I'll just show you the other honorable mentions. A new Dior, what is this, a uh, lip liner pencil i don't even know what color i got to be honest so bad at, like i order so much random stuff Whoops. 
cute. It is in whatever color this is. Premier 060. Not too, like, dark. I'm not much of a lipstick wearer. I usually just wear lip gloss, to be honest. I also got some new brushes. Just some, like, little Dior brushes. They come in their cute little pouches that say Dior. Here's another one. Just some, you know... I think they were having a sale, so I went ahead and got, like, a bunch of stuff. I also got the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. I have never used this, but I'm excited to try it out. And then the palette. Oh, yes. So this one, guys, you, just, you can pick it up at Macy's and probably, of course, on the Dior website itself. But I'm just always shopping at Macy's, so... It came in this beautiful, beautiful box, like, wow, and then you just move that, and then you open it up like this. Look at this perfection. So it comes with two little brushes, it comes with some eyeshadow, some lip color, some blush, and then the, um, like, highlighter. Dropped one of the brushes already. Wouldn't be me if I didn't drop something. But yeah, so I just, I pretty much just got this for the packaging. I thought that was so cute. And the price was good because they were having, I think, 20% off. Guys, really, like, check out Macy's and wait for those 20% off of, like, Dior and stuff. And then last thing I got, um, I, of course, I saw Kate Spade and there was no line. So I stopped in the little Kate Spade store. And I just got something simple. I got these little slippers for in the house. But they look so cute on my feet. When I tried these on, I was like, I'm not leaving without this. And it was $23. Like, can't beat that. I mean, that was like super cute little Kate Spade slippers for you. So, yeah. That wraps up today's video. Um, Happy New Year again. I really hope that everyone has just the best to come for 2022. I want to thank you all for watching my video. And I will catch you all next year for the new video. Bye everyone.